Good morning, everybody. This is Jamie, and this is Gina that I am here with for another one of our success stories. And Gina is a very busy lady, so we needed to do our interview and our little success story thing here a little bit earlier today than we have been. So, Gina, I have just been allowing everybody to kind of talk about your business a little bit, kind of explain to us what what your business was like before Create and just kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um I'm Gina Bunch Epperson. The name of my business is Bunches of Treasure Studio. <laughs> I had to use that last name for all it was worth. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, and I've I've had I've done shows and had my business for 30 plus years. So I was an art teacher for 30 plus years and decided it was time to teach art without a grade. So Ooh, um, I like that. I've never heard you say it that way. Yeah. So a few years ago, I, I decided I wanted to do, you know, paint parties, art parties. Jamie and I actually started that journey about the same time Yeah. Um, with Heidi. So, um, so I uh, still was doing traveling for a long time. Um, I did shows for 30 years and, you know, going to this mall, that mall and all wow. that and festivals and things. And then, um, then I started doing the paint parties. And I was traveling doing those, but last fall I was able to secure a brick and mortar, which I was very happy about because it's so exciting. Yeah. Then I don't have to pack everything up every week <laughs> and, and you know, do, do whatever I was going to do. So, um, that's, I, that's kind of me. I, um, I do, Jamie said, I'm busy. I have a, a few different titles. I, my degrees are actually physical education, art, driver's ed, and health. Um, I love it all. And I refuse to give any of it up. So, oh my goodness. Um, I, I'm brave. I, I, um, drive brand spanking new drivers behind the wheel. And that's um, very brave. In the summer, I run the city pool. I only did two, pool. and that was enough. Yeah, in the summer, I um, I run the city pool here. So I uh, have been the director there 25 years, been a lifeguard for 27. So I, this summer, I told them two years ago, this would be my last year as the director. So I've been Is training, that right? I've been training oh. my replacement last summer and this summer. And they worked out my schedule this summer. We worked it out so I could still keep my studio hours he needed to be there during the day, during the week anyway, to oh. learn what that's all about, you know, and, and he's been with me since he was 16. He's a special ed teacher. Um, oh, that's awesome. So, uh, so yeah, it's so far so good. Been a good, good transition. Um, I'll still help out next summer. My boss, uh, who didn't hire me in that position, but he, uh, he told my husband that I was never allowed to retire. So uh, <laughs> I saw him yesterday. He came to the pool yesterday. I said, um, you remember a long time ago when you told me I'm never allowed to retire? He said, yeah, you're never allowed to retire. I said, well, he said, yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, well, I want to spend more time at the studio and want to, you know, do more. So that's, oh, I don't know if that's on my side or your side, but it's getting like a little garbly every once in a while. So it's kind of cloudy here. It could be my side. Oh, now she kind of completely froze up. I don't hear anything on my side now. Oh, there it caught up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then it takes a second for it to like become clear again. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. In the, um, past, in the past three years since I've known you, you've actually gone through a lot of transitions. I mean, all of us had to pivot back in 2020, but you've really had like a lot of different things going on and that you still do and changed. And so a, a lot of different, oh, now I lost her completely. <laughs> so she was on a MiFi, she said, and, um, Hopefully she can pop back in here, but that could have been one of the things that was keeping it lagging or something like that. But I see a lot of you popping on. Hopefully Gina can come back with us. Hey, Sharon, I see. Oh, Lori's able to pop on probably because it's earlier in the day. And Angel, it's it's very early for you, isn't it? 
Here's Gina coming back. There she is. Let me let me switch us here. Oh, I see Debbie. I was just saying hi to everybody. There were several people who were able to hop on. Debbie says, good morning, BFFs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, and then she's very excited for you about everything that you have going on. So, yeah. well, that's like a little bit about your business. So you took Create last fall. Is that right? Yes. So you were in the second group. Um, and I think after this group, I'm not even going to be able to keep track of who took when and all of that. So, you know, that all of that is kind of going on. And that was right about the time because it was last summer. I remember you telling us in person that you were getting your studio. And yeah, it was right true. after that then that you took Create. Yeah, I saw um, the bookseller who was in the space. I saw him moving out in November the year before. Oh, wow. It was late October almost. And I made a beeline for the owner of the building. And I said, I want Clyde Picourt, which is what it used to be an artist colony called Clyde Oh, Picourt. okay. And I saw the biggest moving van I ever saw with books in it, boxes. And so I, I went to the owner. I said, I, I need that building. He said, what do you got in mind? And he and his wife were both artists. So Oh, um, that's perfect. Graduated with art degrees. And he said, oh, we're in. And he said, I got to talk to Diane first, but we're in. And then 60 seconds later, Diane walked in the door, his wife. And he said, tell her, tell her what you said. Tell her what she said. Oh. So, so I had to wait quite a while. I was going to say that was a long time then until you actually found out that you were getting it. Well, I knew I was getting it. The bookseller um, was not getting out. They, oh. they had trouble getting out. They moved to Chicago. and. But they were having mm -hmm. trouble, so it was a while. But by that time, the summer hit, and I didn't have time. So it was August before I we worked on it all summer last year. It was wow. August before I was able to get in. So oh, okay, okay, very cool. So it was right about that time that you were starting to take create. And what what was it that made you choose to be able to take create? Because obviously, you had had a lot of experience. You had had you know, a studio and all of these things. What was it that made you choose to take create? Oh, um, you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you and I started about the same time doing the same thing. I just felt like, and I know our circumstances are different where we live is different, but I just felt I should be farther along, oh. you know, at, not, not to, you know, competition or keep up with Jamie, but, I just felt like I should be farther along than I was doing what I wanted to do. I mean, doing honestly, what you wanted to do. And, and that's a yeah. good way to put it. Right. Right. And I've, um, I mean, I've had a membership made for about three years. I've never launched it. It's completely done. And maybe, you know, so maybe that will happen this time during create this, <laughs> this fall is after I close the pool. Um, is when I want to actually go ahead and launch that for. Well, um, and, and you have been busy. So, things. and you have yeah. a lot of different things going on. So that's, that's yeah. understandable that you might not be where, where you think you, you should be. So, but it's, um, but I have been able to, um, you know, to make great strides. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, just securing a studio and all of that, that, that intimidates me to have a physical space and all of the, oh. the business administration type stuff that would come with that. And, you it's know, so, more expenses. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Well, I, I'm actually very lucky. They, um, the owners of the building, since they were artists, uh, they gave me a very sweet deal on my rent. Oh, and oh I, that's awesome. You know, and they said, well, let's look at it again in six months and see where you're at, how you're doing. Um, but um, honestly, that, you know, I don't think they're going to raise my rent any. Um, but uh, it's. Uh, they like having you there. They do. They, they like the idea. And now we've got another couple of people who have moved in down the block. Um, artisans. So we're calling this our block here. We're calling it artsy alley. Um, that's, oh, that's fun. We, uh, I have, I'm directly connected to um, a coffee shop. So our, Perfect. we open, we connect with double doors. So when I'm here, my double doors are open 
the double doors are open and then people can float back and forth. Actually, oh, the end awesome. of their bar is where my double doors open. So when they're waiting for their drinks, they float into here and, <laughs> you know, see what, what, what's in there. You I know? think I may need to take a road trip because I think we've looked up before. Am I about three and a half or four hours away from you? Uh, yeah, we tried to do that. <laughs> yeah, we met in the middle. We met in Indianapolis Yeah, <laughs> around there. Yeah, so. yeah. That's, that's awesome. Well, tell me about what, what do you feel like inside of create? What was your favorite thing or the, the biggest thing that you took away that you were able to implement inside of the course? What was it that you feel like made the most impact? Mm. No, there's so much good stuff. <laughs> Not you just know. one thing. <laughs> No, I mean, I liked the idea of the fact that it was structured, you know, as in an artist, you don't always do structure well. <laughs> that's, you know? that's true. There's, there's enough structure without it feeling like, Pretty yeah, fun. there's not room for, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I liked the, um, you know, your puzzle pieces and yeah, what Tracy was showing hers yesterday, what yeah. the word of the, you know, the week was and and how those things can impact me every day. So. Awesome. Well, and I see a couple of, oh, Lori wanted to know, what's your what's your shop called? Is it the same name as your business? Yes, Bunches of Treasure Studio. Yeah. So I, I, um, I started to say, I, used, I started out as a portrait artist, and one of my students wanted to pick my brain about doing shows and said, but I don't want to step on your toes. I don't want to do, you know, if you're doing a show, I don't want to say, oh, I, I want to do that show. And I said, you know, I, I, I do I, 30 years. I, I don't know what that one just was. Let me check. You keep talking. Stuff. Yeah. Tons of extra things, you know? So um, for me doing uh, just, you know, flipping gears, you know, I could always take something else to a show and I didn't have to take my drawings. So he was very excited and, and we, we met a couple of shows at the same time, you know, so I went ahead and um, everything. Okay. <laughs> so I went ahead and, and just started bringing other things to a show. I mean, behind me, I don't know which direction, like paint pours and yeah, paint my pours. resin work and, and um, now I'm, I do sublimation now as well. So I can do um, t-shirts and, coffee mugs, tumblers, and, and my jewelry, of course. Um, my jewelry. I, I think actually, where do I have it? Oh, I do have it right here. I'll, I'll show off some of Gina's work. Here. Oh, there Can we go. And with my name on there. Yeah. <laughs> I made that. <laughs> right there. Yes. <laughs> I, I forgot until when you were just talking about it, that I had that in here. So, so yeah. you know, it's nice when I can get people who want bulk orders. You know, yeah. they like you, you know, have a have a group that you want to do the mugs and things for, um, you know, so I've done those a few times uh, for people, which was great. Yeah. Um, then people come in and they want custom um, work done. So maybe they want a T-shirt with the kiddos pictures on it for grandma and grandpa or, yeah, that's awesome. you know, things like that. So those are a lot of fun. And then I can't see my shirt, but like things I like this, I designed my own. Yeah. Yeah. Design my own work and, and uh, sell it. So if it's light colored and I can bleach and I can do those here, but if That's it's on I dark thought, like, colors, the then it look like, yeah, I have a, I have a company that I will send things out to. So when I do a new design, I will go ahead and um, have one printed and sent to me so I can have it here in the shop. Yeah. So it could be just a, a universal size, medium or large. But if somebody says that, oh, I need a small in that, then I can say, oh, okay, no problem. I can have that for you in a week. You know, they right. pay me and I can ship it to their house or they can pick it up here. That's awesome. Yeah. Ina was saying her tumblers are great too. And I, she, yeah, Ina's got tumblers form uh, yeah. from me that Debbie, I made. And Lori um, says loves the mug. So she does yeah. bunches of things. <laughs> Like I do. And my, my name used to be Gina Bunch. So that's where that comes from. Ina, I'm wearing Ina's earrings. See, Look Ina claims that. these earrings. She says I just she love needs all my earrings. creative friends that just do all kinds of stuff. 
so yeah, awesome. bunches of treasures. Um, when I was Gina Bunch, um, which was my first married name, um, I came up with this idea. If I was doing the DBA, if I used my last name, I didn't have to do all the other stuff, you know, for <laughs> creating the business. So I put my name in the, I, 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 you know, rack my brain. How can I do my oh, last yeah. name in my business? And so I came up with bunches of treasures. Since then I added the studio on the end about oh, six, seven years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> because so I'm doing, awesome. you know, I was doing more. So. Well, it sounds like I know you have a couple of different people popping on here. Oh, I see Jamie hopping on here. And a lot of the people that are saying hi, know Gina personally, uh -huh. because they were in the car with her when they traveled to the create <laughs> retreat, which was in May. So I don't even know all the different things that happened on the way and on the way back in the car with the, oh I gosh. think, um, I don't remember if Debbie had Highlander was on here, but I saw Debbie and Ina, the other two that were in the car. And um, yeah, Debbie, Debbie Hightower, Ina, and, um, and oh, there Debbie she is, the car girls. Thing. The <laughs> car girls, yeah. Here. So they're, they're all four showing up um, with the three of them showing up <laughs> to support Gina because they, they really embrace the idea of community because they were fairly close and they all decided to meet up. And, you know, that's been, I talked a little bit with Tracy yesterday. That's been one of the things that I've loved seeing inside of the course, whether it's online when we're in zoom and, just yesterday, somebody connected because of a common, you know, um, job title that they had and things like that. And then in person to be able to see everybody connecting and really that practice of community, that's what was happening, whether it's online or, you know, in person like that. So would you say that's one of the, the biggest mm. things from the courses you really got to know people? more than yeah got to yeah. make connections and where are you at and oh maybe we can meet up for this you know and um even Ina is seven hours away and we have done several things now together art wise and otherwise but um we uh you know those connections we have the girls and i we have a group you know a chat Oh, we, somebody else was mentioning about that. Some of the roommates and they have like a little chat. Yeah. So I have and to pull have out here. Debbie said Bucky babes because they oh had some Bucky's, <laughs> Bucky's stories. And I have to have tell Bucky you, stories. tomorrow morning I'm flying out to Texas. And um, on Friday, I think that I'm going to meet up with somebody different than where we're staying. And she said, you know, there's a Bucky's. And I have never been to a Bucky's. <laughs> So I might actually time. I might actually get a chance to go. Should I should I get a, a cart? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get a cart. And the I tell you what, when you walk in, what it hits you, the smell of the whole place hits you. And oh. it's just this whoosh smell oh, of that's what Jamie's saying, Bucky Nuggets. Beef jerky and, yeah. Oh uh, beef jerky. Jerky of all kinds, not just beef what? jerky. What? Just the oh, spices okay. and the smells oh. of everything. What? What is Ina talking about? A check nook, nook at home. What? What is that about? <laughs> That's I, about. Leave the check. Leave the check book at home. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not the check nook. Leave the check book at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Leave the check book at home. Yeah, I'm. You I'm not really much work. of a shopper unless it's art supplies. <laughs> So I'm not usually. Neither are we. Yeah. <laughs> and so you go in and you have a cart. Yeah. And then make sure and get your picture taken with Bucky outside. Oh, okay. There's like There's a, a, yeah. A big brass. Is it brass? Big brass. Bucky. Oh, see, I didn't even know about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she, she said that it, it is fairly close to where we were thinking about meeting up on Friday. So I might get the opportunity. I'm not really sure. So, well, that, that's so fun. The, um, the community part of create, I think is one of the things that, because I know you're very much a people person and love yeah. being around people. <laughs> and so 
the opportunity inside create to meet on the weeks that we really dive into the practices and on the zooms and things like that really gave you that opportunity during it's really about 10 weeks um, total even though there's six of the practices we have some break weeks in there and so it really gives you an opportunity to be able to get to know those people because you're seeing them like once a week <laughs> Probably more so than you yeah. see friends that live near you. So I saw that friends last night me. that I <laughs> haven't seen in like three years. So, and they all live fairly close to me. That's great. So I, I see my friends online more than I do, you know, sometimes the, the people in person. So, yeah. Well, mm, I know I that a lot of the people on here have already taken Create, but for anybody who is thinking about it because I am um, closing everything up at the end of the day on Friday because we start on Monday. And um, for anybody who's thinking about taking it, um, has heard about it, what, what would you tell them as far as whether they should think about taking the course or not? I think it's a good opportunity for you to, to just learn some basic things and and figure out what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, I know that I'm a little more organized now. Um, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, with with how I want to set things up and planning lesson and planning parties. Um, uh, so I know, you know, I've done more parties since I, I've done that. Um, oh, okay. So those are, you know, kind of getting your feet wet, you know, if you're, yeah. if you're not sure about how to go about starting things, then creates a good way to do that. Well, and yeah, that is really good that you say that. Time, but yeah. you know, I'm never too old. I'm going to learn something new. You know, we, we talked about that. Like every time you would take it, you're kind of picking up new things. You're in a different place to hear different things that you need new at the things, time. Yeah. So it always is different. And then the people that are in there are always going to ask different questions. So you get the opportunity during each one of the practices to submit your questions. And they're your questions, depending on wherever you are. So even you aren't going to ask the same questions as you asked the last time that you were taking it because you're in a different place. But just last yeah, night, somebody signed, yeah, somebody signed up last night who doesn't have a business yet. And so it's going to be a great opportunity for the people who have already been through Create or ones that have already had more of an established business to almost come alongside that person and help to mentor her through, you know, having and starting that business. And then Edith yesterday has decided her name for her business. So she's kind of at that point where now she's going to go through it and it's going to be it's going to be different. So. I know she was really excited. So, oh, here now my yeah, mom's popping in and she's saying, brainstorm. "Oh yes, yes." My mom's hopping in talking about the brisket with the barbecue sauce. I didn't even know about hey, that. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he will. He will be with us, so we'll have to to make sure. Oh, and make I sure you don't it. eat before you go in. Yeah, I think we were going to try to. So maybe we need to space that out a little bit more and, and figure that out. <laughs> so Ina says that Debbie oh, um, is opening in her town. So, oh, my gosh, she's going to go broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you can so eat fun. at Bucky's every day. I mean, like, you know, meals. They're, I like had no idea. Wonderful. I thought it was just like a gas station. Like a convenience store. Yeah. <laughs> it's a gas station on steroids. <laughs> well, that, that's going to be fun if I get to go on. I think it's Friday that we had talked about it a little bit. So, well, I know you were already in the Create group that I opened up um, a few days ago for the new Create for all of the summer. Basically, we're going to be spending together. What, what are you looking forward to the most during this time of taking the course? Um, I think I would look forward to the next step. You know, um, what are the more detailed activities to running a business? Is there, are there like I said, I'm never going to be too old that I can't learn something new. You know, what are other people doing 
maybe someone's doing something now that I tried before and it didn't work so hot for me before, but maybe. Oh, she kind of froze up again. One of the things that I had talked about was before one of the videos, um, I think it might have been Debbie Hightower. We were talking about StreamYard and she said, well, I can't see what you're doing. And I said, well, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to put that training inside of the Create course because StreamYard is something newer that I've been learning and using. So as I'm learning new things, then I can pass along those things each time the Create course is open and people ask new questions about where they are in their business, like we were talking about. But StreamYard is one of those things that I've been using more and it's helpful for doing things like this and doing interviews and. Oh, it looks. Oh, we lost Gina again. So that's that's one of the things. So there's always new things like Gina was talking about to be able to learn always new ways that you can ask questions inside of the course. And this is the only time that I plan on offering the course in 2023. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Usually I don't my know. Wi-Fi is like spot on all the time, better than anything else. Yeah, maybe there are a lot more people like, but that's not with the MiFi because that's only yours, right? That's that's only yeah. mine. Yeah, I don't know, but I was just talking about that. That StreamYard is one of the things that I've been using more. So it's probably one of the things that I will put as a bonus into the course that wasn't in there before and other things like that, because since we ended back in December, there have been new things that I've learned, new things that I use in my business, new. So there's a lot of things like that. And then as far as being more organized, I do plan on really focusing a lot more on how to set everyone up for fourth quarter and how to organize that and plan ahead for that. And so that's not really anything that we've done, you know, that much in inside of create either. So plan on doing that. Well, well, Gina, if anybody has any questions about the course, are they able to message you if they um, have any questions? Oh, sure. And is yeah. it easier? Do you check your personal profile if they click your name or your business page, the bunches of treasures? Probably my, my personal, um, both of them are going to come through. I, yeah. but the meta, the meta suite, it, um, it doesn't always notify me. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So, and yeah. sometimes it's Facebook and sometimes it's Instagram and I'm like, okay, which one is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, I, yeah, I agree. I, I get the messages quicker on my personal profile than I do on the business page. So. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Well, Gina, thank you. And um, hopefully we can be able to finish up without it looks like she froze again. <laughs> so but thank you for coming on and sharing some of your story. I'm excited to see with all the different things that you have going on. And even this time again, kind of transitioning from not being the director and kind of what your year will look like after taking create and kind of um, maybe having more time to, to put into your business rather than some of the other things that you do. So thanks. Yep. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Thanks for showing up a little earlier this morning. <laughs>